all you jumpers. We are gonna work on our pike jumps. Now this is kind of a hard jump, but you can do it with lots of work and time into it. You got it. I'm gonna show you what one looks like first and then we'll go over some tips and drills for you. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. So when you start, you want your clap nice and tight. Some coaches, maybe they want your elbows together, maybe they want them apart. Whatever you do, just stand up nice and tall. Squeeze your stomach. Urgh. Be the rock. Okay, from there, we have our high V. If you're doing a high V, shoulders down, tight stomach. You wanna roll your thumbs in. Please don't go like this. Okay, we're not getting arrested here. Thumbs in. Straight arms. Watch the difference. I'll do the first one, the uh, not so good one. Second one will be the super dupers. And smile when you do it. One, two. I can't smile and talk at the same time, but give a big smile and it's gonna really take you a long way. Okay, here's the first not so super one. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yep, not so good. And for the second super duper one. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. See, you can totally see the difference. And if you're doing this one, um, same thing, nice and tight. And you wanna lift up on your toes, either in the high V or here, because it's gonna give you a little added something, something for your jump. Okay, so you're here, shoulders down. Um, thumbs turned in or here and I'll do it from the high V first you're gonna cross down bend your knees as you're bending you don't want to lean too forward and stick your butt out too much because this is what's gonna happen see I'm going to fall right on my face and then people will be like oh man what happened so you're bending you're gonna cross your arms to the side. Now as, as you're lifting, you're going to the side and lifting your toes up at the same time. Because if you swing your arms first and then do your legs, it's gonna be awkward and uneven. And it's gonna be harder to make that pancake situation in your pipe. So you want everything to go like kind of at the same, think of everything going together. You bend and then you're gonna explode, swing the arms, lift the toes, drop the chest, all at the same time, okay? So from here, I bend. You see how it, it swung around and I'm lifting at the same time in my stomach? It's almost burning now from being so tight. Your arms, you don't want to lift them too high. They're going to come right horizontal. Not down too low, not up too high. They're going to come right around the side. You're going to reach your chest forward, okay? And lift your toes at the same time. Because if you kind of pull that chest a little more, it's going to give the illusion of your pike looking more pikey. And then after you have that super duper pike position, the quicker you can pull that chest up, it's gonna also make it look like really sharp and it's gonna also make it look more piked too. Watch if I leave my chest down as I stand up. You see how I let it drop really low and then it kinda mushed me down. So if you can kinda Pull that chest up a little bit quicker when you go. So even though you do have to be slightly dropped when you land here, you don't want to be too far. You can still have this closed position, but not so like on the ground. So from here, tight. I noticed when I did it, I was a little off in the beginning. You can bend your knees a lot and not stick your butt out too much. Get this under with the stomach really, really, really tight, okay? And then as you pop up, snap that head. Straighten it out. 
really quick, like a, I don't know, jack in the box, coming out of the box. Um, the quicker and stronger, the better it's gonna look. And in the air, in your pike, feel your legs squeezing. Look at what I do with bent legs. I mean, that's just thumbs down. So really squeeze those legs in the air. Okay, let's go over some drills now. You gotta get strong. Hang on a bar, lift your legs up and down, leg lifts. Do like three sets of 10 a day. You can look at some of my strength workouts on the chin-up bar. Those should help tremendously. Then you're gonna do lots of V-ups. Do two sets, two, two to three sets of 20. Okay, all the way up. Not letting your legs touch on the, at the end and not arching. You can sit up here. Legs up, down, up. Whoa, that's hard. Down. Then you're gonna put your hands by your knees. You're gonna lift up and down here. You can do one leg at a time. Put some ankle weights on you. Then you're really gonna get strong. Then from there, one last thing. This is the hardest one. You want a good pike jump? Oh boy. You're gonna push forward with the legs up. Oh my god. And then you're gonna push back. Wow, I forgot how, how hard that was. We used to do that across the whole gymnastics floor. That's insane. And then of course, nice flat back, flat, 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 straight legs. Don't let anything go under here. Be really, really, really tight. Squeeze. Then you wanna flex your feet, flat back. It's harder. Oh, wow. Stretching definitely gets harder as you get older. Have someone push you down gently. Right about here, lower back, not the upper back. More towards the lower, 10 second hold. Don't never bounce though, you don't wanna bounce. Okay, our pike jumps are complete. If you wanna check out any of my other tricks or workouts, sorry, a gnat just attacked me, um, you can go to my channel and do so. All right, here's the end of the workout trick, round off, whip back.